We're gonna have a great day. You know why we're gonna have a great day? Because we're crappie fishing. <laughs> we're crappie fishing. Ain't nobody gonna be on this water. Yeah, guys. right. We're gonna be the only one. <laughs> How's it going? We're back, and we're about to put a limit in the boat. Big fish, big time on a rainy, miserable day. But the rain has stopped, and I'll guarantee you, me and my buddy Scott, we're gonna be the only ones on this lake putting limits in the boat. Hey, it's a successful day if I don't fall in. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere. Hey, you got some new gear there? What I you got, got a going? Floater, on? man. Tell him about that floater. What do you got? Uh, wind uh, wind rider is the name of it. Yeah. Uh, feel that, baby. Ooh, no. It's an ice fishing suit, so. We don't have ice, don't want ice, but I'm not going to get cold. There you go. <laughs> Before we set off, me and Scott set off, uh, we have some new terminal covers from Cornfield Fishing Gear, and I'm going to show them to you real quick. All right, guys, these are the new terminal covers from Cornfield Fishing Gear. These things are clean, corrosion resistant, really cleans your uh, your deal that you have on your, on your battery terminals. I'm going to show you how these work. But these are the actual units. You get two of them for your battery, and it really cleans the installation up on your batteries. We're all familiar with these guys right here, right? And uh, basically, those just take place of those. And so, there are a lot of states that require your terminals to be covered, including Illinois. So, these are a good way clean installation from cornfield fishing gear you check them out i'll put the information on the thing inexpensive great stocking stuffers and i recommend them 100 percent they're going on my boat i just haven't had time i've been on the computer i've been fishing with scott we've been making content so that's what we do here at three pound fishing but right now we're gonna hit the water here we go thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies all right, we just got out of here. Couldn't even couldn't even hold our, our uh, excitement. We had to catch a couple of fish right off the bat. That's just part of it. So we're both using 10 footers from Ozark Rods, the Sniping Braid Optimal. These are all uh, on sale on the website right now. You guys can check them out. Sniping Braid, the three pound fishing baits. Also, I even brought some of this guy. Bait pop? Not bait pop, right? I'm a, the, the crappie oh, formulation, you check that out. That's the ticket. We put some on the baits for sure. Found some over here. Look at that. Ooh, I think I was just taken already. Oh man, that's twice. Oh wow, these guys are aggressive. What are you looking for? Right there. Well, folks, it's gotten a little rainy, but we are putting fish in the boat. We've got about 12 right now, somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, just fishing a little bit of everything. We have not found the schools yet. Right there. 
on the top, right there at that 30 foot mark. Ooh, you're trying something different too. <laughs> too. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, this the shiner's shining right now. Yeah, he's getting hitting every time. Oh my gosh, it's one after another. <laughs> this winter fishing is gonna be, it's gonna get better. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna even get better. Just lay it, I'm fishing right now with the Shiner. The Shiner's available at 3poundfishing.com. You can check it out. Uh, 30 second ounce jig head, like I say, always. It's my favorite, my favorite. A uh, little crisp out here. We got a lot of wind, a little, a lot of rain, a lot of mist, a lot of mist going on right now. Um, Scott is uh, changing baits. And uh, I'm gonna drop vertically on these fish right now and see if we can't get them to bite just straight up and down. Watch this, straight up and down. We have not had much success with the schools of fish right now, but we're gonna go back and see if we can't find them. We've gotten a lot of rain this last, uh, couple days and so they seem a bit scattered for sure but we're probably on a we're on a good count right now oh I almost had it perfect <laughs> it's bigger than I thought he was good he got a better fish he a better fish Get in the game. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's not happy right now. <laughs> We've got like a great discount going on right now. On three pound fishing, sniping braid, 20% off everything. That means like $10 spools of braid, which is unheard of. Great products, that 12 pound Meteor, I can't say enough about it, it's awesome. We're fishing actually with the four strand Optimal, which is uh, A1 okay. I love it here on my home lake. And uh, never forget your, uh, your braid scissors right there. They're even on there on sale. I'm gonna have a pail of them. Pail of them. I don't know when we're gonna clean them though. That's the question. Well, we're running out of daylight. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna hit our limit. We got probably about 20 in there, but. If there was another mat in the boat, we would. <laughs> oh, whatever. Either way, it's still a very aggressive bite, but unfortunately, I think with all this water, the fish have definitely been scattered out. The schools that we did find were really moving. All, they were just totally moving. Nothing was calm. The big thing about schools is that you want them to be as calm as possible. They'll be in an eating mood then. If they're moving, it's really tough to get them to bite. And right now, we're just kind of fishing a mound. The only ones I'm fishing are the ones that's moving. <laughs> all your fish are moving. <laughs> Is that another one of them crazy fish? There you are. Oh, unfortunately, it's not the right species. Kind of a hair lip looking. All right, we just got done. And uh, we apologize for not showing you a lot of catches today. Um, but it was kind of weird how it happened. We, we were having kind of a slow start. We had a good amount of fish though, about 12 or 15, but then all of a sudden it just started happening and it happened so fast in the last 35 minutes. Obviously it's dark now, we got the lights on, but uh, it happened so quick that uh, we didn't have time to put the camera on, then the camera battery died. And, uh, but we ended up catching them three to four foot deep uh, 
just vertical jigging, no weights on it whatsoever, and it was a lot of fun. What do you think, Scott? I had a blast. I had to wait for the timing. Once they turned on, they turned on. Yeah, we'll show you. We'll show you what we got, but I can tell you it did. It happened so quick and then they were so shallow and it was becoming so much fun. We were like, oh, we just got to keep going. We ended up getting a ton of fish, so you're going to see. What a good fish. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.